In this video, we will be wiring an RFID keypad in Reader to our Control 4 controller via Wigand. First, connect the wiring harness to the back of your keypad or reader. The larger connector on the left harnesses our data wires, while the smaller one on the right is power. Our DC power wires are red and black. Connect the red wire, labeled DC Plus, to the first screw on the Wigand. Now, connect the black wire, labeled DC Negative, to the second screw directly next to the red wire. Now, we will connect our Data 1 and Data 0 wires. For this configuration, we are using the green and white wires. Connect the white wire to the next screw, which is data 1. Now connect the green wire to the final screw, which is data 0. Now we're going to wire our AC-DC power adapter. Notice that on the AC-DC power adapter that I'm using, both wires are black. I can differentiate between these two by the white dotted line on the negative wire. On the other side of the board now, wire the positive DC plus wire to the first screw. Now wire the DC negative wire to the second screw besides the DC plus connection. When plugged in and powered on, our keypad beeps and shows a red LED. Now we need to connect the YGAN to our Control 4 controller. Plug your serial cable into the serial port on the board. Now plug the other end into the desired serial port on your controller. This completes the wiring configuration using a Wigand to serial converter. Now we will configure the necessary drivers within Control 4. You will need the following drivers to set up your access control system. Access control database driver, RFID reader driver, and the Wigand to serial converter driver. You can find all of these on our store at houselogics.com. Once you have those downloaded, drag them from your downloads folder or wherever you have them saved and drag them into your Control 4 drivers folder. Now head over to Composer and navigate to the search tab at the top right. Uncheck online and search for the drivers that we just added to our Control 4 drivers folder. Double click on these drivers to add them to your project. In the Connections tab, drag the serial RS-232 connection under the YGAN driver to the serial port on your controller below. Now select the RFID reader driver and drag the YGAN connection to your desired YGAN port below. Finally, select the Access Control Database driver and drag the Access Reader connection to the RFID reader. 
Head back to system design. Notice that neither the RFID reader driver nor the Wigand driver have any configuration settings. Click on the access control database driver, then the actions tab and hit start server. Back in the properties tab, enter your desired account details. I'm using access control for the sake of this video. Once those are set, navigate to your web browser and type in the IP address of your controller using port 8000. Log in with your details that you set in Composer. From this interface, you can add and delete users as well as set specific permissions such as which days and times the users are allowed access. Configuration is now complete. If you have any further questions or require technical support, please contact us at houselogics.com.